King Kong, first introduced in the groundbreaking 1933 film, has remained one of the most iconic movie monsters of all time. Towering at over 50 feet tall and possessing a unique blend of animalistic strength and human-like emotions, Kong isn't just a creature of fantasy, he also invites fascinating questions about biology. Could such a creature actually exist? Let's explore Kong's hypothetical anatomy, adaptations, and evolutionary origins, imagining a world where he might walk among us. Kong's anatomy is a blend of gorilla, human, and dinosaur-like traits, making him quite the enigma. In the film, Kong is depicted as around 50 feet tall, with a stocky yet muscular build. If scaled up from a real-world gorilla, his weight would likely exceed 20,000 tons. However, real biology imposes limits. Organisms this large would need an incredibly strong skeletal structure to support their mass. Kong's bones could be made of a super-dense material, similar to how birds evolved lightweight yet strong bones to enable flight. Kong's immense strength would require muscles far beyond those of any terrestrial animal. His muscles might be composed of advanced proteins, allowing for exceptional tensile strength and efficiency, enabling him to climb mountains, battle dinosaurs, and fend off aeroplanes. For a creature of Kong's size, oxygen intake would be a major challenge. Kong may have oversized lungs or multiple respiratory sacs, similar to birds, to sustain his massive energy demands. His heart would need to be enormous, pumping oxygen-rich blood to every extremity. Skull Island, Kong's home, is a fictional but scientifically intriguing ecosystem filled with oversized predators. What adaptations would Kong need to thrive in such a hostile environment? A creature as large as Kong would require an immense caloric intake. While the film shows him eating vegetation, he may also consume smaller dinosaurs, making him an omnivore. His digestive system could be adapted to efficiently extract energy from a variety of food sources, much like modern-day bears. Kong's thick fur might serve multiple purposes, protecting him from the harsh, tropical sun and providing insulation against the fluctuating climate of Skull Island. His skin could be incredibly tough, perhaps laced with keratin or collagen fibres, making it resistant to bites, claws, and even the occasional bullet. Though Kong is portrayed as solitary, his intelligence and emotional depth suggest a species that might normally form social groups. In a hostile ecosystem, social bonds could have provided protection and mutual aid against predators. Where did Kong come from, biologically speaking? Could such a creature have evolved naturally? Skull Island's isolation might have triggered a phenomenon called island gigantism, where species evolved to grow larger due to the lack of predators or competition. Kong's ancestors might have been normal-sized apes that gradually grew larger over millions of years to compete with the island's massive fauna. Alternatively, Kong might be the product of convergent evolution, blending traits from multiple species. His gorilla-like physique could be augmented by traits from theropod dinosaurs, such as the Tyrannosaurus rex, explaining his bipedal posture and immense strength. Kong could also represent a relict species, a survivor of an ancient lineage that predates modern mammals. Perhaps he evolved alongside the dinosaurs and adapted to coexist with them, resulting in his unique blend of traits. Gigantism brings many challenges, especially for a land-dwelling creature like Kong. The square cube law presents a significant obstacle for a creature of Kong's size. As an animal's size increases, its weight grows faster than its strength. Kong's bones and muscles would need to be massively over-engineered to support his mass. A 50-foot ape would need an extraordinary amount of food to sustain its energy levels. Kong might spend most of his waking hours foraging, similar to how gorillas consume up to 40 pounds of food daily. Overheating would be a constant threat for a creature this large. Kong might have adapted sweat glands, like humans, or vascularized skin, similar to elephants, to dissipate heat efficiently. 
Kong's intelligence and emotional range set him apart from other movie monsters. Throughout the film, Kong demonstrates advanced problem-solving abilities such as using tools and adapting his tactics in combat. This suggests a brain larger and more complex than that of any known primate, which given his immense size is hardly a surprise. Kong's attachment to Anne Darrow hints at a deep capacity for emotion. His brain may have a highly developed limbic system responsible for emotional processing, as well as advanced social cognition. This could make him similar to elephants or dolphins in his emotional intelligence. Despite his incredible size and strength, Kong isn't invincible. In the climactic scene atop the Empire State Building, Kong is overwhelmed by biplanes. His size makes him a large, slow-moving target, vulnerable to attacks from above. Kong's immense size limits his mobility in urban settings. Skyscrapers and narrow streets would restrict his movement, leaving him exposed to human weaponry. The physiological demands of his gigantism could make Kong vulnerable to health issues. His heart and lungs would have to work overtime to sustain him, potentially leaving him susceptible to exhaustion or cardiac stress. Finally, let's consider how humanity interacts with Kong. In the film, Kong is taken from his natural habitat and thrust into human civilization, where he is misunderstood as a monster. This raises ethical questions about humanity's treatment of other species. Kong's story serves as a metaphor for the destructive impact of human intervention on nature. By removing him from Skull Island, humans disrupt the balance of his ecosystem and provoke a tragic conflict. Kong's tale reminds us of the importance of respecting nature's boundaries. Instead of exploiting creatures like Kong, humanity should learn to coexist with them peacefully, preserving the natural world's wonders. King Kong is more than just a giant ape. He's a symbol of nature's power, humanity's hubris, and the enduring appeal of larger-than-life creatures. By exploring Kong's biology, adaptations, and evolutionary origins, we not only deepen our appreciation for this cinematic icon, but also reflect on our own relationship with the natural world. Thank you for watching my video on the possible biological origins of King Kong. If you enjoyed it, then please hit the like button, and the subscribe button, and the bell icon to make sure you're notified of future uploads. I upload a new video every Friday, and I'd very much like for you to come back and check the next one out. Also, if you're feeling generous, then you can become a member or a patron of the channel. The links are in the description. And last but not least, I would like to give a big thank you to my current members and patrons who can be seen here. This has been the BewareCast, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.